Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented to you by the New Palace Lanes, North End Mazda Subaru, and Rebel Smoke. I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. Today, we crown a new king. Absolutely. Today, we crown a king. Number four seed, Kevin Patterson, has been plowing through the competition. Up now, the number one seed, Paul Markey, a newcomer to the circuit and wants to make his name, but he has to go through Kevin first. Let's get to Dennis with the interviews before we get to the action and crown a new king. I'm Dennis Nuzzo here with this week's opponents. To my left is Kevin Padgerton. Welcome, Kevin. Thanks. And to my right, newcomer to the King of the Palace, Paul Markey with a roll-up score of 456. Welcome, Paul. Thank you. Uh, Paul, it's your first time at King of the Palace, and you, uh, first time born, uh, you've only been born back a year. How do you feel? Feeling pretty good. Did pretty excellent today, and I'm proud of myself. Well, good luck to you. And Kevin, your thoughts going into this match? Just want to bowl well. Keep it going. Awesome. Well, one of you will be uh, visiting me in the 11th box, and we'll crown a new king. Good luck to you both. See you then. Up first on LA3, newcomer Paul Markey. Little Paul Markey comes out of um, Gulfstown, New Hampshire. His highest average is a 112. His home lanes are lakeside lanes. He also bowls at King of Lanes. Nice L. Nice sell, Nice nine box. If there's such a thing as a nice nine box. There is? Yep. That was a more difficult than what you thought. Okay, here we go. Box number two. The table is set. We're ready for the main course. Crowning a it. new king today. Yep. King of the palace. Newcomer number one seed, Paul Markey. With an impressive 456 qualifying score. He was on fire. I was watching him. On the head pin the whole afternoon. Knocking him dead. So far, a little bit of the jitters here. He's missed left. He's left the one in the eight for a ten box here. Opening up a little bit of a dry door here for Kevin Patrick when he gets through. Disappointed seven. Up now here. the number four seed who has been blazing a trail. Defeating all the former King <laughs> Phil Clough, defeating Dan Goff, defeating a newcomer Sean Parker. Now is in the driver's seat. He wants his title back as the King of the Palace. Oh, it's what every every bowler strives for. Fitchburg, Lummis, they're all on new sites. It's the King of the Palace. He always oh, 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 hammer. First ball is he Kevin on is not going to take any prisoners today. Oh, does it? Oh. What, it brings out the best in anybody. It's for the king of the palace. You're going to wear the palace crown. You're going to be proud. It's shown you you're the best bowler. What we all strive for. Absolutely. In pin bowling. Oh, wow. Oh, he was on the head pin. He's left a 7, 8, 10. Last he week. Left, he left a 7, 9, 10. Three back-to-back -back boxes when I went wild. Last week. Unbelievable. Well, we've got some wood down. He's got four pieces spraying. Which one, Dennis, quick? Split them. Split them. Picks like that up. Looks like like that. Call Opens it. up. Strikes oh, spare. Talk about putting the pressure on a ball. Yep. He's telling the newcomer, man, hey, I've been the king before. I want it back. You if are. you want it, come beat me. This Welcome to the king of the palace. Yep. <laughs> the king of the palace, Paul. Paul Mackey. Going to have to go after that head pin. See what happens. He checked it. Wide right. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, good. Wow. He's got dominoes it. going on. He got the dominoes. Well, wow, he's got a lot of junk on the deck. Yeah. This Let's may not be very, very oh, favorable boy. wood. One, two, three, four pieces of wood. Yeah, just plow through it to what happens. Yeah. Like it up. Needs it. Got it. Answers with a mark of his own. I think done. he was just kind of waiting to see uh, to feel out Kevin to see what he was going to be throwing. Kevin, let him know what he's going to be throwing. <laughs> yeah. As we're watching Paul Markey get ready here, our official, on his spare. our official professional scorekeeper, Amber, keeping score there. And come oh, on no. Well, right down the oh, shoe. Got a little break. Yep. Got a break. Look for a minute there. It was the, the dreaded spray eagle. But two other pins fell on the right. It's left a very ugly split. Just missed it.
Kevin fills the spare with a six. Head pin hit. Beautiful first ball delivery and leaves this split. Could have been uh, worse. Could have been the eagle. Yeah, could have been the eagle. Oh, wow. what a bid. Oh, what a bid for the spare. Nice pitch. No luck. Want to thank everybody out in the uh, uh, viewer, the, the viewership and all your local access TV stations in the 15 cities and towns that we are in. Also want to thank all the viewers on YouTube. Um, thank you for your comments, whether they be good or bad. There's been a lot oh. of positives lately. We showed the people to the right. Oh, half push to you. left. We've done what they've asked. No. Everyone wanted, you know, uniform. Often uniform. imitated, never, never duplicated. Du absolutely who was, who was famous for that saying? Nice bit out of me. Oh. Could be. There it yeah, goes. Nice. It go. It's pretty he's when it made, goes. He's made it. He made the half Worcester right with no wood. What a shot by Kevin Paddington. I'm going to tell you what. If I had to go to battle with anybody, it'd be Kevin Paddington. Did you see that, people out there in Bond? What difficulty of a half Worcester with no wood. That was a beautiful shot. Uh -huh. You know who was often never duplicated, but often imitated? The captain, Louis Albano. Oh, nice look at that show. Oh. Nine pin drop. Come on, come on. Strike. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> look at that. The there five is a pin. bowling guard, people. It fell down. He it's deserved it. Take he got the strike. Foul. That's what it's all about. That's what go. it's all about, people. Sometimes the bowling guards remind you, reward you. There it is. It's all not negative all the time. No, just yeah. most of the time. <laughs> most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, off right, to right. The right a little bit. He's leaves the one. one, two, seven, and the nine with a piece of wood off to the right. Where are you going, piece Dennis? Piece of wood shouldn't be Dennis? a factor. Split them for the film. Yeah, like, like I said, I'm afraid of just split them. Oh, almost. Leaves the seven pin. Oh, 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 okay. oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 no. Deadwood no. stopped it. Deadwood yep. stopped it. I'll take a nine pill. Yeah. Every time. Nothing wrong with a nine. Now yeah, this oh, newcomer's got some game. He does. Kevin's going Kevin's gonna to have his work cut all for him. Yeah, this is going to be hopefully a very interesting match. It's yep. for the king of the palace. Paul's it's keeping for the it close. Right, the it's right the to put the crown on your head. You are the best. Keep the comments can't, coming. Can't do it without the bowlers, man. We had a great turnout this this time around. Oh, of, no, we had a field of 26, a lot of newcomers. Hits the head um, pin, it fills with a five. Sorry, David. Oh, look you know, newcomer this. Sean Parker. Shows so. up his first day, at Paul Mackey, and where is he? Yep. He wins the qualifying round. Just goes to show you people. So seen a lot of familiar faces. Um, it's always great to see new faces and um, a lot of people come down to because they've seen the show on their access TV or on YouTube and they support the show and that's the most important thing because this show would not be what it is or where it is in season three without you the bowler so okay. please continue absolutely um, correct, David. your support we thank you for your support I know Dennis does I know I know uh, Mr. Bronchuk does I know our OEPD extremely does the outstanding producer director. Nice Travis ball. Drops oh, look a at bomb. Are you kidding me? Saw that all the way down. Hammer on the nail. Right there, man. That was just. Kevin said, boom. I want that crown. <laughs> I, think, I think his wife likes it when she has to call him king. Well, maybe <laughs> Kevin be. does. No, whatever. Hey. Kevin probably makes Andrew call him. <laughs> <laughs> Wide right. He's left. Uh, Left. Kevin has a beautiful family and uh, they're Little. great people and they are part of the New Palace family and you know just wherever you go they're good peeps. Nice. Little, little oh, Marco, son and daughter. Thought he had it. Now got some wood here coming out onto the lane. Gonna have to yeah, we're going to have to go down there and uh, as per the rules of can't open bowling. We're going to have to have it scallied. Justin Scally, veteran Kenilton Bowler, going to help us see if that thing stays out there. No, it's going right in the gutter. If you notice quickly, That's the second people, time. Yeah, there's a line out there that's 22 inches in front of the Skadia. head pin. Any uh, piece of dead wood in front of that black Shaking his head, he knew he missed it. Has to be removed, as per rules of Kenilton Bowler. And it is 22 inches in front of the head pin. Um, okay. Paul, Paul is a... a Yo, when Paul's not bowling, he's a store manager at RC Byers Warehouse. Um, he enjoys flying full scale. Oh. 
uh, radio controlled airplanes and helicopters. That's going to be kind of cool. A little weak on that ball. Takes out the half whistle left, but we saw Kevin make it. Let's see what happens. Very difficult shot. It's a little off on that one. Wide right. that ball a, a little hard, too. Yeah. Left the one in the nine for 10 blocks. Let's see what happens. And I guess he stopped bowling for a while. It's, he's only been bowling, back bowling about a year. Yeah, it's pretty impressive for a year. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you think the ball would The ball goes ricochet somehow, some way. Got some pinball action going on. You think down it would have hit the nine pin? All right, Kevin. Up Matter of start. fact, Paul's high single was a 168. He threw that today. He threw that in the in the qualifying in the round. Qualifying, so. right. Nice. And that was with talk no about, handicap. Talk about Paul's pressure. Yep. And he goes right through the ball. Oh, Come on, fall down two. Pin. Favorite piece of wood. This may help him out a little bit. Where are you going, Dennis? I played a three just to pull the strike. Yeah. Yep. Get the high fill on the strike. And hopefully that dead wood behind the uh, two and the three spins into the two. Kevin facing here one of the 1,023 possibilities oh. of spares. That number haunts me. Well, how does it haunt you? Sorry, we'll take an eight fill on a strike every How does it haunt you? It, it, it's a legitimate number and can't open bowling. You shoot for 10 blocks. Oh, went right by. Oh, boy, got nine. Okay. Kevin's trying some trick shots out there. <laughs> Little rope dope. Okay, he's going up to lane number four, box number eight, string number one for the King of the Palace Championship. Kevin's got a pretty sizable lead right now. The fame and the glory that it brings to a bowl and candle pins. I know I'd like to have it someday. Dennis, I know you do. And you, Dennis. Leaves the Dennis, clear. Yeah, you know, I, I tried out for this one and I missed it by a pin to Kevin. But Kevin's <laughs> running the ladder, so good luck to him. And what was that number again, Dave? 422. Four, four, yeah, I and I didn't make it. Yeah, but make hey, it. you throw a 422, don't qualify. You can't hang oh, your head you turn on. around, turn around in disgust with the way he threw that ball. Yeah, you could tell the way he let it go that it was off. Oh, this game means so much to me. To the kings of the land. I enjoy it so much. What do we got after eight? I love the king of the palace. After eight, it's Kevin Paddington at 106 and Paul Mackey at 88. Doesn't matter if it's 80 percent handicap oh, or no. not. Oh no! Look at this! Look at this! The four, six, seven, ten. Oh. What is this known, better known in candle pin bowling? Is the double P knock. The double P. We've seen it a lot the last couple of weeks. That's right. Kevin made it. Green juice for everyone. Later. Now look at this. He had three pieces of wood, and he gets one out of four pins now. You're right, Dennis. I three usually am. I just don't admit. Three pieces are worse than two, <laughs> I guess. Yo, we designed the show so anybody can have a shot at yeah. making their way to be on TV um, and become the new king of the palace. Um, don't let the 80% handicap scare you because we've had some people that have had um, high averages that have come in and had the bowl scratch and actually made the show and, and, and decimated the, the competition. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice ball. Oh, thought he had the strike. Drops everything. He's left the 10 for the spear. One pin by itself, the ten pin, and the con known as by itself, known as the corner of the building shot. Oh, this is nice. Oh, yeah. oh, he wow. went to go play the wood, and it bit him yeah. in the bump. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See it, play it. No. Nope. Wood got it. Wood got it. Uh, he wanted the spear. Got away from him. Well, you bit. know, is it one of those things where if um, the pin is there and you can see it? and you opt to play for the wood, is that like an accuracy issue? It, a little bit more confident using the wood than hitting the single pin? Yeah, if you feel like you're a little off, you, you might want to play the wood just to try to make it. But I'm a big fan of, if you see it play, because you never know what that wood's going to do to you. Yep, and that wood almost hurt him. Thank God it wasn't for a mark. Well, it actually was. It was, yeah. Okay, it just gets you back. I agree, Paul opens Dennis? up with a 107. Paggi working on. Nice bid on that one. A spare attempt and just didn't get the seven to fall. No, nope, now he's it. just padding his lead right now. Let's see what happens. Slowly closing in on the end of the first strip. Oh, wow, wow. Dennis, you called it again, Dennis. <laughs> Two pieces. <laughs> this is getting, it's getting silly. I'm getting that, redonkulous. How did that? I'm going to tell you what. People, you saw it. I saw it. Travis Fox saw it. How did that pin not go down? 
You threw a ball into two pins in front of it, two pieces of dead wood, and the pin's still there. Yep. Jersey barrier. Kevin's got an eight-pin lead. Uh, you're absolutely correct, right Dennis, uh, David Metalla. You're absolutely correct. It's an immovable force, yep. meaning an immovable object. Uh, he's left the what here, Dennis? The Kaliri. <laughs> This game, I'm telling you, that's why I enjoy but it. But that so deadwood much. might actually help him off the sidewall to take out that back pin. Oh, he needs to hit off. Pin. I just missed it. Yeah. Yep. He, he got the leery. He had a shot that really open up. Left the cut up there this time. A real, but right now real he's, big he's lead working lead. on a 120 plus. Oh. 123. After one, Kevin Paginton at 123. Paul Maki at 107. 16 pin lead for the. Well. I'm going to tell you what, if newcomer Paul Mark, he wants to become the king, he's going to have to do what he had to do to um, do in qualifying and just open up. Uh, David and Dennis, for the viewers in bowling land watching us, why is Kevin up bowling first? Is that the, uh, the or format? Is it format. Well, who gets to bowl first? The highest seed usually bowls last. Well, okay. He throws the ball, he gets past. What does he get? He gets the spread eagle. The I, dread eagle. I, I mean, it's just. There you well, go. Wing at a time, Kevin. Wing at a time. Yep. Clip goodness. a wing. Tom. Takes the right side. Out. There uh, 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 um, uh, a lead called the clipped wing. Yeah, when the seven and the ten are not there with the spread eagle. So you're left with the four, six. Yeah, we, we call it the aces and eights. You're left with the four, six. No, excuse me, the two, three, four, six. That right. would be the six. On the head pin, and he's left quarter, fall down. one three side, and he leaves the f two in the four with a piece of wood up against the two. Well, yeah, yeah, just sliced this low on the dead wood, I think. And shoot, the shoot the leg, Johnny. Right there, there you nice go. shot, Kevin. Nice momentum builder. <coughs> Opens no. up with a spread eagle. To, to it's all it's all up to Paul Markey now to see if he wants to be the king. Yeah, once again, we see the bowlers checking his stride. Check Getting approach. this slide right, doesn't want, to, yep. doesn't want to stick on the alley and look like a yep. fool if they fall flat on their face. But it's not even that, he, not even falling, it's just if you stick, it's always in your mind that you're going to stick again and then it just throws your bowling off. Yep. Yeah. He, he, uh... Picked up the spare. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how many people write in for the question of the day in the viewers' challenge. Oh, sure, I'm kind of really curious to see what they're going to say. Oh, found the nice hand ball. Hand. Nice ball. He's left the four and the seven. Eight full on the spear, Dennis. Oh, does he want this spear? He's got it. He has the match. Kevin has stay within striking distance. Let's see what happens. I just flew by Stop. it. Just off. Just off God, sometimes you want it so bad. And you just don't deliver. Oh, wow. It's a seven. It wasn't there. It wasn't there anyhow. After two, Kevin Padgerton, 18 working on a spare, and Paul Markey at 28. Let's see what Padgerton's going to do. He's been known to like fill a mark with a mark. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, he wants to head. That's the first object. Wow, one fill. Very rare for Padgy. Yeah, that got away from him. I want to take the opportunity to thank uh, FATV for all their production and our OEPD for all the work that he does in dedication to the show. Um, this wouldn't be possible without him. Absolutely not. He puts up with all of our garbage. Uh, mostly Steve, but... <laughs> <laughs> yep. The OEPD is responsible there's for only, all the green sheets. <laughs> there's only one Travis Falk. He walks everywhere in Fitchburg. Everybody knows him. He's our outstanding producer director. He's now Travis be careful. Falk. You're going to give him a really swelled head. No, it's the truth. I speak the truth. Hey, look. What? That's why I gave him the OEPD. That's right. I'm appreciative. Oh, Kevin wide right. He's left the one, the two, the four. Tough spear, it's not as easy as it looks. Yep. Right, he's yep. pressing yep. a little too much yep. right yep. now. Try to throw that one a little bit too high. There's another case where he threw the ball, the pin went straight up in the air, dead on center, I guess, right? Yeah. Yep. 
no angle on it, just no straight angle, on. Just straight on, and straight up in the end. If well, you're watching this on YouTube and you'd rather watch it at at home, contact your local Access TV provider. Give you the um, time and the time of the day. Well, they contact and us. Contact your local Access TV provider. It's tell them that you want King of the Palace. King, they'll contact us and our OEPD of FATV will get it oh, to wow. you ASAP. Look at this. That was a beautiful ball. And Frozen. He six, and he is, seven. I, I, no Paul, wood. I agree with you appealing to the bowling gods. You couldn't have thrown a better ball. You couldn't have thrown it. A better on a spear. No, excuse me. Sometimes it's a little frustrating being uh, the number one seed. He just threw a beautiful for, pocket for, hit for a while. Yeah, ice over. Oh, six, seven. I agree with you, Paul. He's got I, some work to do. He wanted it. He knows he was box up to box. He knocked Kevin Lee down to five pins. He had a shot there. He'd make a spare and open up. Maybe even get the lead. Well, he's up against an open box from uh, Kevin right now. So be, right now, they would be a good chance to do it. Beautiful ball. Come on. And, and oh, puts his hands up in the air. Up. The bowling guard just said nope. Nope. Look at this wood. Oh, if it this out a is going to be. It's actually not too bad. You gotta hit it. You gotta hit I it. I think on that one in the yeah. gutter may hurt him yeah, a little might. bit. He's gotta hit it. Go in there. there you oh, go. It's a nice right shot through it. Plod nice the shot, road. Paul Markey. Nice shot. Kevin needs oh, a mark now. Kevin's got some work to do now. Yep. Former king of the palace champion. Now, well, this is it. It's coming down to six boxes, people out there in viewing land. For those of you just tuning in, uh, the question of the day is: Will you email us at newpalacelanes.com? Uh, go to the website newpalacelanes.com and email us or new, email us at newpalacelanes at gmail.com and just ask us any question you want, wow. whether it's personal. Look at this. Not too personal. I mean personal about bowling. Uh, bowling it question in general. It doesn't matter what it is. Well, within reason. Um, and if we read yours on air, grant you in a drawing for the end of the season that you want a free Canada Palace t-shirt. So when you email us, please put question of the day in the subject line. Because the second way we're giving back to the viewers, oh, nice. Kevin Check picks up, up a great Kevin spare. Kevin needed that spare right there oh, to keep the, the pressure back. on momentum's newcomer back. Paul Markey. Sorry about that, Dennis. Continue, that's, please. That, that, that's a great spare. I'll, I'll gladly stop talking. <laughs> uh, the second way viewers can win is called the Viewers Challenge. And when you email us up for the Viewers Challenge, make sure you put your name, address, and what you think the total pinfall be uh, difference is between the, uh, the person who won the match and the person who did not win the match. Kevin fills it with a seven. Three, six, ten. Spear lead. And we're giving you a three-pin leeway either way. So if you guess correctly, you're going to win a prize right then and there. Plus, you're going to be entered into the grand drawing at the end of the season to win either an hour free bowling lesson from myself, or you could bowl three strings against any one of us, Travis, Dave, Steve, or me. And if you live too far away to take advantage of that, you're going to win a consolation prize, and then we will pick someone local to actually win the other one. If you have any questions, please contact us here at New Palace Lanes or go to newpalacelanes.com. Kevin, a little disappointed missing that spear. Kevin's taking a look over at the score and see what he needs. Okay, here it comes, people. I'm getting excited as everybody else watching these bowlers. It's for the king of the palace. It's for the crown. There's no final crown to wear bowling in this one. And look at this. I think he's starting to find his stride right here. But look at this leaf. Hey, the Kevin five, just picked this up a little while ago. This is one of my least favorite leaves. The five, it's six, horrible. ten. Horrible. He's got yeah, some wood to help him. Wood, I don't know. I'm going. Kind of tough. I, I think I'm going to go way left to the five pin. What? Yeah, no, I probably hard. would have gone to the right. Probably, yeah. I probably would have tried to split them, split the two pieces of dead wood, get a little bit of action on it. Very important Except the tens. Pins. All right. Very important two pins. Box to box, Kevin's lead is only up four. Kevin's gonna have to do some work. Okay. Mark here would uh, really put the pressure Paul on Mark Kevin. Going over to alley six. Alley four. Me. Alley four, box six. Wow. <laughs> Kevin, thank you for correcting me. And he's he's a nine seven. drop. He's left the seven pin. With an owner can up in bowling as a corner of the building. Well, we've seen all this before and look with all this, this junk. Mess. You gotta hit the front wood. Side, I'd avoid that one sticking straight out and just hit the back one. Oh, well, it no, worked for him. He plowed right through it. Plowed right through it. Up and over. Four pieces of wood that time that came through for him. That makes it a little well, bit more harder well, for Kevin to come back now. Two out of three boxes for Paul. After six, it's Kevin Paddington at no, 61. Paul Mackey at 74 working on a spin. Yep, oh. Kevin's going to have to wreck a rack. Yep. Kevin needs it. He needs the mark. Oh, he, he's more than capable of doing it. Let's see what happens. A little bit off. A little bit off. One, three, and seven. 
You know, last week we saw Kevin couldn't get off the head pin against Sean Parker. Yeah, he now, was he's it. now he's having a hard time finding it a little bit. It comes in glimpses. It's amazing, that's right. It's amazing how it leaves you or it comes back to you. Oh, oh, oh come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there is a bowling guard, people. Wow. There, there is a, the guards for the Pick bowlers. Kevin Paddington smiling, shaking his head. The wood came back and it. took it. That was a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a bowling guard helping them out. Yeah, that was a gimme back from the alley. They take enough from you. <laughs> yeah. People, what happened here? Kevin was all set to set the ball, pinfall in the other lane, a little bit of a distraction. Nice ball. Finds the and head pin. short pin. Leaves the six pin. pin. This is going to be a tough shot this right here. Different. This is different. Oh, he was all over that four pin. Let's see if he could. Yeah, this well, is a little this, bit of this, this wood here, Dennis. I don't know. There you oh, go. Nice. Nice. Left hand yeah, side, it spit it, a, spun oh. it off the sidewall. Three out of four boxes. It there it is. He's found it again after that disappointing one oh, fill. Now the pressure's back on Paul Markey. You got that one fill on the spare. This the is going to be box. a back and forth match. This I think is it's it. going to come right this down to the it. last ball. Oh, that's what we love, love people. That people. Who David, for the people out there in Viewland, how many pins are back there in the pit? 25, is there? 20? Yeah, about 25, about 26. 25. Yeah. The head pin, back spin. He's left the triangle right. Filled the spear with a seven. Got a spare shot. Any part of that three six five. Any part of that three pin should take this spear, I think. Or it. throw it off to the left and he miss it altogether. Picks up the single for the ten. Box to box, Kevin's only up five pins. Needs to spare. Needs to spare to keep track with Kevin. Paws up against the spare. There the it comes, page. people. This is for the king of the palace. This is what Canopin Bowen's all about. Getting on TV and winning a championship. Wow. And look Great at all. Mix and down he's there. left the railroad split. And look at this. this may get just. This is Where just about impossible. I'm going way left. Just no, I just capped that third piece of wood and break. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking my chances. It's a thin, it's a thin a slice. slice. There it is. Like wow, oh, nice he, pickup. He wanted it. He got it. That was a nice ball. Well, you had to understand what it was all about on that shot. He went with that Every option. Every going to be spectacular. Yeah. Oh, people, this is coming down to the end. It's nothing finer than Canop and Bowling at its best, and here it is. After eight, it's Kevin Padgington at 90 working on a spear. We've had, what, five marks out of four boxes, yeah? And Paul Markey at 101 working on Sorry, a spear. Sorry, dear partner, I'm getting right. excited. Box to box, Kevin's got a five-pin lead. Oh, this is it. This is it. Kevin on the fill. Nice ball. He wow. with nine. All right. Leaves the six pin with a couple pieces of wood in front and around. This should be a pretty makeable spare. I don't see, unless he throws this thing into the ocean. Unless he hits that cap on the other piece of wood. There he goes. Not about it. He just destroyed it. It's going to be a nail biter now. Now every uh, pin counts. And again, we welcome all comments. YouTube, Facebook, we read them all. We appreciate them all. We can't help change the show without your input. Thank you again for all your dedication and your viewership. Go. No. The no. audience. Now he leaves the, excuse me. Steve's eight. ranting and raving. Yeah, how can he leave the <laughs> 7, 8, 10 on a pocket hit? And this, this wood is just terrible. This is ugly. <laughs> you know, it brings me to another thought. This, this is like game. a guard how, how, right how are we like bowling? One quick thought. Take the dead wood out of King of Bowling. Be that, a better game be or worse? Would be a better game or a worse game? No, worse game. That's, uh, it I would agree. suck. Yeah. That's, Kevin wants this. Play it wouldn't be, no? be the best game in the world ever again. Yeah, I agree, 100%. Well, he's got to get one out of two here. This is going to be very interesting. Yeah, this is going to be a tight match Paul, right now. It's all up to Paul Mackey in the last two. Oh, nine. Okay, what are we going to need? Paddington here, finishes with a 125. Two string total of 248. Well, let's see what he gets for the fill, and then we can do some math. Get right. too old to try to figure this out. Three blocks. And you don't have your glasses on. And I don't have my glasses on. Right. More of an approach here. Drop six. Leaks four, four horsemen left. Makeable shot. One, two, four, and seven. 
box to box. Kevin is up eight pins. Makes this mark right here. This may be, oh, punches it out. Kevin in the side, taking a sigh of relief that he missed it. Where are you going with here, playing the two in the corner? Yeah, definitely grab the two. Or oh, throw it right through the hoop. That hurt him. What's it look like now, then? Uh, box to box, Kevin's actually up 18 pins. So a so mark, he needs a spare or a strike, and a 9, 8 to 27. tie, 9 to win. Yeah, mark 8 to tie, mark 9 to win. No. It's coming right down to the last Oh, I'm box. sorry, no. No, 27. 27 needs a double mark, needs a double, double strike. strike. <laughs> you got me following your lead. <laughs> what happened? He needs a double strike. He needs a double strike, 8. Oh, yeah. So Kevin is the new king of the palace. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, our new king of the palace, Kevin Padgington. He's defeated Paul Markey. Newcomer Paul Markey. Newcomer, Could, it just goes to show you once gotta again, give, people. Got to give the, the, new, the newcomer uh, his dues, his credit. You know, he fought. There it is. He did battle. Um, he came up a little bit short against the former king, Kevin Padgington, coming from the number four seed. Nice applause from defeating the Defeating the former king, Thanks. Phil Clough, destroying Dan Goth here. Bailey beating Sean Parker and coming out on top against Paul Markey is now the new king of the palace. Congratulations, Mr. Kevin Padgington. Two-string total, Kevin Padgington, 248. Paul Markey, 231. Kevin had seven spares and two strikes, and Paul had five spares and one strike. Even though it was a 17-pin difference, people... It still came down to the last two boxes. It did. Want to say thank yeah. you very much yep. for watching the King of the Palace, being a part of the show. And congratulations to Kevin Paddington, who is about to speak with Dennis Nuzzle. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with the new King of the Palace, Kevin Paddington. Congratulations, Kevin. Thank you. You ran the ladder from the fourth seed, first defeating the former king, Phil Clough. Then you took on the challenge of Dan Gauthier, Sean Parker, and finally newcomer Paul Markey. How did it feel? Feels good to be up here in the end. I mean, it was a hard-fought day, a lot of close matches, a lot of great bowling. Just glad to be here. Yeah, the last match was a little back and forth for a while, but then you just started marking and you were know, looking very consistent, so congratulations. Thank you. And uh, will you be taking the king's option next taping? I guess we'll wait and see. Words of advice. Well, congratulations, and I look forward to seeing everyone next time at the King of the Palace. How does that happen? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Up now, the bonus ball challenge. Spread Eagle on alley four for Kevin Padgington. Oh, oh he's way off, off on that one. Way way. Off to the 10. Well, let's see if Paul Markey can leave here oh, with some money. Yeah, great yep. ending. Great ending to the. Got a big first prize for this. Been accumulating for a while, and oh, he throws it right, right through the hoop. 